the military took advantage of the situation uh, to remove him from power, even though there wasn't anything in the constitutional standoff that uh, necessitated anything like this. The, you have to remember the dispute was over a non-binding referendum that was to be held uh, today. So uh, it, had, it wouldn't change the law or the relations of power in the country. So there was no uh, argument that any kind of irreparable harm could have taken place if it had simply gone through. Now, how much support does uh, Mr. Sanaya enjoy in Honduras? We know there have been reports that there has been some unrest in response to his being sent into exile so far. Well, I think he has quite a bit among the, uh, the labor unions and the social movements, but I don't think that's really the main uh, question here. I mean, this was a, a classic military coup against a democratically uh, elected government, the kind of thing that we thought was a thing of the past. And, uh, you know, the United States has very close relations with the Honduran military. And some of the uh, statements uh, from the Obama administration have a little bit, a little, uh, been a little worrisome. They started out uh, not uh, saying very much about it, uh, President Obama's statement early today. And then uh, there was a slightly stronger statement that came from Secretary of State Hillary Clinton but they still haven't called for the president to be reinstated as many other leaders throughout the world have. And the European Union, of course, was also much quicker uh, to oppose the coup and to call for the restoration of the constitutional order. And of course, what chances is there that he may be reinstated? A caretaker president has already been uh, put in place. Do you think it's possible we could see Manuel Celia make a comeback if he does have enough support internationally? I think it's absolutely true. You know, in 2002, when uh, President Chavez was overthrown in Venezuela, for example, the international support was very important. The South American presidents unanimously uh, said that they wouldn't recognize the new government. And then the, United, the Bush administration was forced to change its position. It initially supported the coup and then said that, uh, that they wouldn't. So I think it's clear uh, that international uh, response is very important, but again, the United States should be leading this uh, uh, support for democracy and the rule of law and not uh, following behind other countries.